So if you saw my last video, you might have seen this dent right here. It was considerably more complex than I had anticipated it being. But here's where it stands right now. It's looking pretty good. Got a lot more uh, dolly work that's got to be done on it. Took my stud welder to it. Put it on that groove. Pulled each of those out a little bit at a time. Went back and forth across the studs. And then took the hammer and dolly to it. Still going to do that some more. Meanwhile, my uncle brought me a boat trailer that needs some work done on it. Now, had this been anybody other than a family member, I probably would have just straight up told them no. But over the past few years, I've sort of felt like my family's size has been shrinking. So, show love to your family when you can. He had to put a new tongue on it and, well, this metal's sort of way thinner than this metal that they replace. So we're going to try and clean this up and uh, do some welding on it. Fix that up right there. I don't know who the genius was at the Tracker Corporation that felt the need to use a square tubing on a boat trailer that's going to go in salt water. But uh, I hope they eventually fired that guy because that's a stupid idea. The whole trailer holds water. Well, not anymore. Now, obviously, the best thing to do, take that trailer, throw it in a junk pile, go get another one. But I've met my grandmother, and I know how she raised her children. Frugal might be an understatement. And I'd be willing to bet that my uncle ain't going to get rid of this trailer until he gets rid of that boat. So, let's see if we can make it at least somewhat roadworthy. Alright, now understand my goal is not to make a brand new trailer here it's just to keep his trailer on the road safely but i cleaned all that up once i cleaned up the bubble gum on the top i found out that eh, the welding that was previously done might not have been uh how do you say good <laughs> so uh We'll see what we can do with that. I went and found a couple of uh, pieces of scrap metal that we can use to reinforce that after we fix these uh, welds up in here. We'll throw some more welds here and uh, try and straighten that out. And then we'll smooth it out best we can and put a plate on here to strengthen it up some try and hold everything in the right position as it goes down the road on the back side doesn't look horrible but it is arc welding um thick metal to thick metal so it'll be okay we might need to do some more welding over here where that cross member meets the side can't see it because of the shadows. I have no idea what we're going to do here, if anything. Simply put, that's just there to hold the pontoons in the right spot, keep them from bouncing one direction or the other. Um, structurally, this new four inch uh, channel that they put in right here that pretty much takes care of the structural aspect of it so uh it's just a matter of maybe strengthening that up to keep it from falling in the middle of them it's not like that's really i guess it's important but it's not structural to the trailer so let's see what we can do with it yeah that welded up pretty nice got a touch up a little bit here 
that metal's super thin because it's rusted out basically and we'll try to take care of that whenever we put a one of them bottom plates on it right there i guess that string was for pulling wiring through the trailer but it's not going through the trailer anymore then we'll take care of that <laughs> Well, I messed up and I didn't realize it until I started clamping these on. That circle right there is in all three of these corners on that piece, which I intended to put on top so that I could fill in the circle to give some more strength there, but nah, it is what it is. What I'm doing here is this is a thicker metal than that is so I'm getting my bead going getting it good and hot and then I drag it up onto that metal hopefully that'll be good enough so I had to move this thing over to next to the fence try and get some wind protection today I uh, honestly this bar needs to just absolutely be replaced but I'm just here to try and strengthen it up make it last a little longer so I got a piece of uh, angle iron we're just gonna weld on the bottom of it hopefully that'll be enough this bar is not structural anymore due to the fact that this bar now takes the place of that one as far as the tongue goes and the structure goes so I, I grinded the so I grind uh, uh, so I grinded the uh, so I removed the paint off the area that's gonna get welded and we'll see what we can do with it. I had to switch wire. Go with a flux core because this wind out here is pretty brutal. Let's see. So here's what we ended up with. I pushed it out into the yard. It's had a little bit of rain on it. If I had some uh, rattle can black, I'd go ahead and put some on here. Cut the excess metal off on the bottom. On the top, I did the metal on the top edge so it'd be easier to weld but it wasn't that much easier because a lot of this was super thin and it's not pretty they did a pretty decent job on this section here um, i did touch up the top of that and that one and then that's what i worked on today it's not beautiful but Hopefully it'll work, as long as it gets the boat out of the water and gets it to the house. He said he's planning on getting rid of this trailer anyway, so we'll see. Peace, love, and many trucks.